Hey guys, it's Tiffany. Um, so this is the second video I've posted and today and third in two days. Um, but it's kind of like good stuff, I guess. Um, okay, so essentially when I started this process and met with my entrance coordinator in the bariatric center, and I, I said in a video recently, I believe, if not, um, they do everything backwards for most centers because they want to make sure that you have all of your paperwork done before you actually meet with a surgeon. Most places you meet with the surgeon first. Well, with them, I did all of my EGD and paperwork and blood work first, and then I'll meet with the surgeon once insurance approves you. Um, it saves the surgeon time because if you're not going to be approved in the end and you don't follow through, he's not wasting that time. Um, so, um, today, um, yesterday, I'm trying to think, <laughs> what I'm trying to say. Um, essentially, I, you guys know that um, I'm on the three-month multidisciplinary diet. But I had always been told it was three months works out to be four by my insurance coordinator. Um, so my understanding was I was going to have a po an appointment with the PCP and uh, in December and the dietitian in December. Then I had a, an appointment with the dietitian in, I'm sorry, just the PCP January, the dietitian and PCP February, and then March just the diet or just the uh, PCP. And my understanding was I had another dietitian appointment and another um, PCP appointment at the middle of April. That's what I was told all along. So, as you all know, based on my video from yesterday, if you watched it, that I'm kind of having trouble with work. They're almost kind of like trying to scare me into not taking off without FMLA by telling me that my job's not protect protected. But in reality, um, and I called my HR rep today um, to talk to her about it because I figure she's going to give me a more unbiased opinion than they will or, you know, answer. So I called her and talked to her again today after I spoke to her yesterday because I just wanted to verify for sure. And she said, honey, I'm about 99% sure without seeing the paperwork that you're going to be completely okay. She said, I wouldn't know 100% until without seeing it. But she said, if you are not going to be able to bend or lift or um, anything like that, she said, you're going to fall within that. And I said, you know, okay, thank, thank heavens because I feel much more relieved now. Um, so once I got that verification from her, well, before I called her, I called my bariatric doctor. And while talking to her, I called just to see if she had heard anything. Cause she was supposed to ask around about the Americans with Disabilities Act, um, too, to find out if you're covered. And she was saying that um, she actually asked some people the wrong question. She thought I meant something different, so it really didn't help. But in the discussion, she said, well, let me pull out your file and see what you have. And I said, okay. She pulled out my file, and when she pulled it out, she said, so where is your February and March doctor's visit logs and I said oh they are um they are in or I said they're at home I said I have them though I finished them and she said okay well um can you get those to me as soon as possible and I was like yeah okay sure um and originally I was like well I can bring them down to you today and I was like oh wait they're at home I thought they were in my car so I told her I had to bring them to her tomorrow um so then she proceeds to tell me that she's going to go on and submit to insurance once I drop those off to her. I was a little baffled because I'm thinking, if I haven't finished the process, why in the world would you submit to insurance? Um, and she, she was like, oh, the worst they can do is say no. The best they can do is say yes. So a preview. So I was like, okay, I mean, I mean, I can resubmit, so it's no big deal. Um, and, you know, I was just thinking, it's kind of weird that she's going to go on and submit if I don't have everything there. Um, so I get off the phone with her and I call Aetna because that's my insurance. I called them just to kind of, I'm sorry, I'm like one of those people that if I'm not sure about something, I have to call and make sure with someone else. So I called Aetna to talk to them just about everything. And my Aetna representative I was talking to um, told me, she said, um, she said, well, I can't, we're not allowed to interpret what the bulletins say. And essentially the bulletin is... Um, like if I wanted to find out about bariatric surgery, I click on that and it's a bulletin for it and it tells you everything you need to know about the process and approval and everything. So I was looking at the bulletin, which had changed from last year when I looked at it because, you know, that stuff updates yearly, sometimes I guess within the year. But the new bulletin actually gave a number of days on it, 90 days. Because it did not say three months that works out to be this many days. It said 33 months, 90 days. So I'm thinking to myself, hold up, I'm past 90 days. I was like, this is what's going on. Like, as of right now, I'm at like 100 and something days, I think. Um, 
yeah, like 100 days right on the nose or something, or 101 days. And I'm like, why am I going past 90 days if I don't have to? Um, so I talk to the, uh, her and she pretty much insure, assures me, no, it's 90 days. So I get off the phone with her and I call back my insurance coordinator, which by the way, she's fantastic. Even if she kind of told me a little wrong, I still love her. She's funny and she's great. But I talked to her again and I was like, I'm really not trying to stalk you today because it's like the third time I've called her today. And, um, so she tells me, she, um, because I informed her, I was like, you know, I wasn't aware that this was only a three month process. So my understanding it was four months and that, um, that I would be um, having another appointment in April with my PCP and with my dietitian, And she said, well, no. And so she breaks it down for me. And she says, essentially what it is, is they have a certain regimen that they want you to follow. They don't really give you a certain guideline to follow by, but they give you what they want done. So that's meet with the dietitian, which I've done, but they request that you meet with the dietitian three times and to meet with your PCP four. I have met with my PCP in December, January, February, and March. I have met with the dietitian twice in December and February. I have not met with the dietitian a third time, so that does kind of worry me. Um, but besides saying that, I have met all of the other requirements minus that last visit with the dietitian. I don't know why she was dragging it out in, into April like that when I could have met with the dietitian in March and been done. I could have had my last appointment on like the 17th of March, and I could have been done with the entire process on the 17th of March or within a couple of days of that but no I'm in the last week of March you know April will be starting soon and I'm still like just now finding out that I went a little past the diet that I had to go which is kind of frustrating but she um she said you know you have met with the doctor four times which is required she said they also asked that you meet with the dietitian three times she said, you've completed everything else that insurance is re requesting of you. She said, I'm going to go on and submit. She said, the reason I'm being is sometimes Aetna will let that slide. And I asked her, I, said, I just flat out said, I said, does Aetna sometimes let people who have not met the dietitian three times, get, does uh, Aetna occasionally approve them? And she said, yes, they have. She said, they've done it a few times. She said, if the, she said there's been cases where the person met all the requirements. They had a, you know, a BMI that met the requirements and everything. And they have met with the dietitian twice instead of three times, and Aetna um, went on and approved it. So there's a high probability at this point that Aetna might approve my stuff. Also, you guys know that I told you Aetna is extremely fast. So if she submits tomorrow, like she's thinking, because she has everything she needs, once I take that tour tomorrow, she has everything else together, she's just got to send it over. Once she gets that back, She's thinking we could hear something about as early as this Friday and as, as late, obviously, as three weeks. But she thinks this is Friday, maybe next Monday or Tuesday. If I get an approval then, which they could deny saying that I need another um, dietitian appointment. And she said, if they do come back saying that, she said, I, we will squeeze you in for an appointment really quick with your dietitian. It would take like 30 minutes at the most. And she said, once we get that, she said, I'll fax that out and we'll resubmit everything. And then you'll have everything you need to be approved. Essentially, what they do is they don't necessarily deny you. They deny you in saying that you're not approved, but they tell you this is what you're missing. You need to turn this in. So I can't remember how they worded it, but it's called something different. So instead of waiting until April the 16th, 17th, 18th, whatever, to submit, she's submitting tomorrow. What in the world? I can't, like, I don't even know what to say to that. Like, that's crazy. And I'm really excited about it. But I'm still kind of nervous because, like, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to get an approval anyway with everything there. So I think it's kind of, like, nerve-wracking. But at the same time, I'm going to not be so stressed because if they do come back, I'm thinking the only thing they're going to say no about is the fact that I haven't met with a dietitian a third time. But she said that shouldn't be too big of a worry because she said they have let people through before. So we'll see. Hopefully um, everything goes okay. And, um, you know... I'll let you guys know once I hear something. Um, I don't know when that'll be, but I'm pretty excited and a little nervous at the same time, but mainly excited because I am done with my freaking diet. If I only have to be with the dietitian one, more, dietitian one more time, I still consider myself done because that's going to take like 15, 30 minutes and they're going to squeeze me in for it as soon as possible. So point blank, I am done with the process, guys. I am like excited. Um, I'll let you guys know because, like I said, it's a high probability they could come back and say, no, you need to have that other appointment with your dietitian. And if they do, no biggie. They're going to squeeze me in. If they don't and they do approve me, even better. <laughs> so, yeah. But I'm going to go, and I just wanted to update you guys and say that, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.